Hey, it's Dominique Well from Well Medical Arts, and I wanted to show you filling these forehead lines. So you can tell that she's been chronically raising, and we're asking her to relax, 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 and even relaxed, you can see that the muscles contracted and she doesn't want to do the Botox up there. She's had good results with fillers in the past and wants to fill it. I filled quite a few foreheads for different purposes. I've gone in and I've filled the actual lines. I've gone in and filled it where there's a central seam. I've gone in and filled it where it was hollow through here. I've built up the brows to make it more masculine. I've put a little filler in to raise the eyebrow. I've put it up into the scalp to actually do a hairline lift. So all different kinds, but you don't get to do them all that often. and They're rarely videoed. So I thought, oh, let's video. Normal to have a little bit of bleeding when you go in to do it. And of course, there's a couple of right ways to do it. I considered doing a little cannula and I considered doing the needle and I'm gonna go in and do the traditional needle. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just start with this fine one right up here. There we go. And breath in and exhale, tiny poke. And then just a little bit of filler right underneath the surface. And of course, those thin ones, breath in and exhale, good job. Those thin ones come right out nicely. It's the bigger ones that will be a little bit more of a challenge. And breath in and exhale. So I did tell her, hey, it's not gonna go away completely. It's just gonna soften. You might have a few little bruising points, all normal. And look at that, that little bit right up top, just smoothed out that top wrinkle. Yay, looks good. Okay, I'm gonna ice up again and keep working. Let's get this breath in and exhale, tiny poke. Good job. Nice. Breath in and exhale. Breath in and exhale. You are doing just great, babe. Gonna have you turn just a little sideways this way. Breath in and exhale. Perfect, perfect. So I'm also right in that subdermal plane. And watch. It just smooths right out. And is better. It's not completely gone. But better. And it feels nice and smooth. So we're able to get that top line. And of course, you know, the uh, finer the line, the easier it is to come out, but that's good. And then let's work on this bottom line. Same thing, gonna ice it. in and exhale, tiny poke. Good, good, good. Great. And breath in and exhale, tiny poke. Good job, babe. Beautiful. And then looking at it, you might think, whoa, and then rub, 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 and it goes right down nicely. Perfect, right? Look at that line, corrected out much softer. All right, almost half the forehead done. And if you take a look in general, you might be able to see this line better, this line better, this line better, when you compare them to this side. Yay, we're doing good. Breath in and exhale. Breath in and exhale. Good job, babe. Breath in and exhale. We're doing super good. Getting this one. Raise your eyebrows for me. There you go, relax. Breath in and exhale. Just a little bit more. We're almost done with this row. 
Yay, now watch this. Your newcomers might be like, oh my God, look at that, that's crazy, it's terrible. No, it smooths right down. Yay, right? Isn't that amazing? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> you will in just a minute. Okay. okay, good job, and relax. Breath in and exhale. Well done. Breath in and exhale. How are you doing as far as ouchiness? Zero to ten, zero's none, and ten's the worst in your life. A one, good, good to know. And breath in and exhale. There we go, breath in and exhale. We're doing super good. Okay, let's get in there and smooth it. Great. And I am gonna be putting the Botox in here to uh, keep the forehead from moving. Ideally, it would be better if it was already kicked in. And she is going to be smoothing this at home just to make sure that it heals all nice and smooth. And most of what you see and feel at the very beginning is kind of swelling. One little bleeder, let's hold. All right, so we finished filling the forehead lines with the Bella Fill. So if you just take a look in general, we had two spots that bled. This one bled a tiny bit, and I believe it was that one bled a tiny bit. And I wanted to show you guys something. See over here, see how this blood vessel is coming down like that? I'm sure most of you have seen this before. Once we poke, the body says, oh my goodness, we poked. Send down everything to heal. And that is actually the body doing its job. So you'll see some of the blood vessels coming down to do their job to send everything for healing. And you know that the swelling is coming shortly after you see those blood vessels pumped up. So here I'm gonna go in, this is warm compress and the warm afterwards for swelling. So there's a few things that we wanna do the warm for. One is to make sure that everything is revascularized more uh, completely. If it was not, there would be a little pale spot. So we're gonna be looking at it, here it's warm, and then come look at the forehead up close. When we lift up, you're gonna see that the whole thing is nice and pink and well vascularized. See that? So we know that everything's perfect. So I've got it warm, so of course warm for swelling. And then I'm gonna go in and Arnica and sculpt and smooth. So she's already started to swell just a little bit. So it's not everything that I'm feeling in here, some of it's swelling, but I can tell by the feel of it, whether it's swelling or whether it's filler. And I'm gonna say, wow, this is gonna be a great treatment on her. And this feels all super nice and smooth. So I'm very happy with this treatment. And now after uh, we close up the video, I actually am going to put 12 units of Botox in here to um, keep it nice and relaxed and help her and to show her how well the Botox is important as well as the filler. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that.